Hey guys, so welcome back to another charting session with me. As I've posted over the previous videos, I asked if you guys wanted this raw, uncut, unedited version of me analyzing the charts and I got a lot of good responses and I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do more of this uh, for you guys as you have as I've seen more people appreciate this as well so for tonight you can expect uh, probably two or three videos just for tonight uh, talking about different stocks in the market so comment uh, this is the first video of the tour Two, of, two out of three videos that I'm going to do tonight. So comment the stocks that you guys want me to analyze for the remainder of, of the day. And I'm going to post them. But as you all know, uh, today is very, very significant. The PSEI dropped massively. It's the first time the PSEI hit and went back to the 6,300 level. And if I if I, if I I got it correctly, I think the, the dip today is around 7 plus percent, 6 plus, 6, 7 plus percent uh, for the index as a whole. Please remember the... The PSEI closed at around uh, six thousand. The PSEI closed around six thousand seven hundred seventy last Friday. Then suddenly it it dipped to around and closed around uh, six thousand three hundred fourteen today. So it was a very very large dip from where we were last week. So comment the stocks that you guys want me to analyze, and then we're gonna talk about it and. Please remember that I posted a video prior to this saying that this is predominantly triggered by what's happening in OPEC. Please remember uh, Saudi and Russia, they tried they tried to work things out uh, for oil because please, please, please do note that the biggest thing that's happening right now is because of the coronavirus. There's a lack of demand in terms of oil uh, a lot. Just to give you an example, uh, because of cancellation of flights, there's fewer flights running right now or flying in and out of countries right now. And that means fewer flights running in. The demand for oil will be lesser. Demand for oil will be lesser. There should be a lower output. There should be a lower production. But because uh, but because Russia and Saudi did not want to lower outputs, that now they're going to have to fight. Uh, they're going to have a market war. They're going to fight for a larger piece of the pie. They're going to try to bring prices down, which in general should be good for everyone, uh, for everyone else, lower oil prices. But there will be a ripple effect on it on a global aspect. And that, that the coronavirus plus everything else that has been happening, it's been ripe for what we're seeing right now. So first things first that I'd like to show you above and beyond the drop is let's look at the volume, how big of a volume uh happened today so if you look at it also from the lens of volume and value turnover it was almost the same amount of transactions from from our from the large move friday and if you notice it also over the past two weeks or so as the market started to dip lower uh, volumes has have been massively longer bigger stronger and way above uh, what the average is so why am i saying this for those who attended our stock smart sessions you know that as long as volume is strong volume is massive uh it shows that it shows how legit those downward movements or upward movements are it shows that a lot of people are fully convinced of what's happening it this means also that a lot of people are getting out of their positions a lot of people are selling a lot of people are either taking profits for those who entered at a very very low price and a lot of people are also uh cutting losses for those who went in at a higher price as well so you put them all together you put the cut loss you put the take profits people just want to get out either they want to be liquid they're they're trying to uh live to fight for another day so there we see the legitimacy of this. Let's look at RSI. Uh, as I've said this in previous videos, we've been oversold already. So if you notice it here, we've been oversold since February 26. So we've been doing this for more than two, around close to two weeks already of us being oversold. And that's the biggest misconception when it comes to the world of stock market trading and investing. Uh, the People always think that when it's oversold already, it's worth buying. Please remember, when a stock is bearish, when a stock's in a downtrend, how do we know it's in a downtrend this is an evidence that it's in a downtrend you see this large downward move here it's an evidence that it's pretty much in a downtrend so when a stock is pretty much in a downtrend you can expect uh it's normal for it to be uh oversold it just means that it's really bearish but at that point in time there was just a larger amount of selling pressure that 
ultimately happen. So the biggest question that people would ask now is this. If there's a lot of selling, uh, where's the next landing spots? Where should the PSEI go next? So the name of the game still will always be this. If the stock breaks the support, it will now go and find it where the next support level is. And our, our goal here is never to guess, never to speculate, but just to look at the charts for what it is. Because at the end of the day, it's all about what the charts are telling us. The charts discount everything. The charts will let us know at some point you know, whether it's worth buying or not or where it could possibly drop if if the market and the stocks that you are watching is relatively bearish for a stretch period of time. So. Uh, first things first is if you wanted to plot some sort of a support here, it's pretty evident that at some point, regardless of how you plotted it, regardless of what support you're using, even if you plotted your support line here, either the 6, 9, 6, 7 level, it's pretty obvious that from what happened uh, today, uh, it broke out from all of this level. So even the short-term consolidation that tried to hold its ground at the 6, 7 level, we were actually holding 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 days already of us holding here that short consolidation uh, level uh, we we did that hold and we started to break down as what i mentioned on i would always mention in our stock smart seminars when a stock breaks down selling pressure is added when selling pressure is added more sellers bring the prices down and if you add volume to the mix and you add whatever's happening in the news it's what's causing a larger trigger of people to actually get out of their positions as well so that that's that's what it basically is. By the way, I forgot to introduce myself if you're new to this channel. Um Bigla I'm excited just to share the charts. Now you know me as long as I get to share my ideas and my thoughts. I I try to share quickly. But uh my name is Marvin Gurma, I'm a stock market trader and I've been trading and investing for more than a decade now and declines like this normally happen. I've seen this happen also but uh, this 6-7% drop is something that doesn't happen on a regular basis. This happens when there's something really, really, uh, really, 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 really important or significant that's causing people to stay away. Please also remember that uh, foreign investors are the ones taking the money out in the Philippines as well. So it's not just retailers, it's not just local funds but foreigners are taking out when foreign Foreigners take out their money. It it really moves out at a very very fast pace, and it's not just us. It's also Indonesia is also being sold down right here right now. So by the way, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. And if if this video adds so much value to you, kindly like and share and comment. And I don't know. I just wanted I just wanted to hear interactions from all of you. So comment. I'm learning. If you guys are learning from all of the videos that I'm creating. By the way, I forgot to say this. Um, as you all know, you my videos got no structure, no script. This is as raw as it can be. That's why I keep jumping from one point or another. But uh, it's not just oil that's actually down. Uh, futures, uh, North American futures, all of the indices in. In the U.S. markets, their futures are all down. Asia was massively down also. So you have a lot of the asset classes, a lot of the financial, uh, fin a lot of the capital markets uh, pretty much down. So people are now waiting on how uh, the U.S. markets will respond later, but everyone's already uh, noting that it will be massively down as well. We just have to see how big it is and how the markets tomorrow will respond uh, as to Asia and the Philippines. So that being said, let's continue into all of this. So I'll remove the RSI first so that we get a clearer and bigger chart. Comment below if you're learning. Uh, by the way, if you know, want to know what RSI is, how it works, I'd like to invite you. We have a Stock Smart session this Saturday. It's for Stock Smarts Manila. I'll put the link in the description below for you, for those who want to join us and if you want to get context on, on why I use technical analysis on how I analyze my stocks, how I analyze my charts, and how I do things in terms of uh, plotting and also uh, trying to try to analyze where the support and resistance is. Because at the end of the day, uh, everything we need to know is found in the charts. We could guess and speculate where the economy is headed, but at the end of the day, price discounts everything, and that's what technical analysis is teaching us, and that's what uh, we get every time we analyze the charts as well. So these are the next support levels for uh, for the Philippine Stock Exchange Index. So please do note also that as it has as it has broken the 69, 67, and 64, 6493 level, this all uh, this three now becomes the next resistances for the Philippine Stock Exchange Index. That being said, uh, if it goes down further, all of the resistances that it failed to break, uh, this will now be 
at one point or another, all of the supports that it breaks, this will now be at one point or another, all the resistances that will prevent it from going up later on. So just to also add, no, I want to put the 200-day moving average here, which shows you that uh, the average buying for the past 200 days was it's still very, very far. So you're seeing a lot of people over short, mid, and long-term durations on an average basis lose lose money as well that's what makes the market relatively bearish that's why for those who attended our sessions you all know what this means you know how important and how significant this is to all of us as well and you all know what this means also when you see those moving averages start to slope up slope down massively now the 6495 level was broken next possible support level will be at the 62 uh, 65 level so we're relatively close to that level right now so if it fails to hold this level possible retracement will be at the 6265 level or if there's massive selling still over the next few days then it could go to the 6090 or around 6100 level so please do note take note of this Re current resistances right now 6493 6776 and 69 uh, 69 Six around six nine thirty two six twenty five six thirty two level. Then the ne the remaining support levels that we have are six two six five, uh, which is over here. It got revisited last January twenty sixteen, and another one we have here uh, last January also twenty sixteen the six thousand one hundred level. Then uh, if this two get broken, we are gonna now revisit the uh, twenty fourteen support level. So this is quite deep already, guys. At uh, tw twenty fourteen, it means it was. It, this is a six year support level. Six year support levels at five eight. The next one is around five six at twenty thirteen. After that, if we stretch it back further, the next one that we have is August twenty thirteen. This are, this is around the five five level. So these are the these are the next remaining layers of support to protect the market. Uh, we have uh, the 6265 level, 6090 level, 5863, 5679, and the 5565 level for uh, the PSEI as a whole. So as you all know, uh, all parameters now are pointing that it's relatively bearish. And if it's pretty clear by now, even if you draw the trend here, I, I would draw the trend line here before just to note that whatever upward push that happened here also got broken. And because of that, we started to move on a relatively sideways uh, moving pattern. But I also mentioned this on previous videos that after we failed to, after we uh, broke spe a lot of the critical support levels, we're now starting uh, and, and trying to... I don't know it's too early to say but it may be just the onset of another downtrend that could possibly start by the way uh this particular for those who love chart patterns this is a very 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 uh very very bearish pattern i, I talked a lot i would talk a lot about rounding bottoms and how bullish a rounding bottom is if it starts to break out the problem is this is the opposite of a rounding bottom please do note that this entire area this is around uh this is around 1,300 points. So if you would take this two together from here, 6, 9, uh, it could possibly go just just by following this pattern. It could possibly go also down to around 5, 6, just following this pattern. But you know me, my goal is not to follow patterns. My goal is to follow the price action and where it's leading. But if you look at it also very, very well, we have a support here at the 5, 6 level. So let's see how it goes. Let's see how it starts to play. But it just really shows us that uh, this particular large move since the 2008 recession is over. This particular sideways move that we had for quite a number of years is now trying to be threatened as well. And if you will try to put this on a larger and broader sideways market, these are the remaining uh, support levels that will protect the markets in general. So, conclusion, what am I saying in all of this? Number one, uh, the market is currently massively bearish the market is currently being sold down if you are a quick trader it would be prudent to wait up until we see the breakdown finish it would be prudent to see up until we see uh, a consolidation start to happen over the short term if you're a position trader uh, the stock is very very far from what an uptrend looks like so it would be very prudent also to stay away currently if you are a position trader if you are a long-term investor and you have a lot of in Tagalog bala, and you really believe that uh, markets drop and following how indices would go, 
indices drop but they always go back higher than where they were before you could use this or you could also check my videos on indices that as indices drop they nor they, it's normal for them to drop but they always go back higher than where they were before and that's a narrative that you could also look at that's a narrative that you could also uh, play as long as you uh, as long as the, please consider that if you start to come in right now uh, there are there are deeper contexts to this. There are deeper implications that would cause markets to go down. So if you have bala, you could put a small portion so that at least you get a piece of the action. But no one would know say how low this could go. If we don't know how deep it could be yet. Please remember the drop in the 2008 recession was about uh, 50 plus percent. So uh, in the index in general, we're we're probably around. Let me double check so I I can give you full representation of how low have we gone already so just to give you full context of how low we have gone we are now at the 30.4 percent level so this is one of the deepest drops that we've ever had in a very very long time so if it tries to go to around the 50 uh, percent mark so the 50 percent mark will be around the four or five level which is still a great way of and for that to happen it would have to break a lot of massive uh, support level so i don't know it's too early to tell if we're gonna go there but what i do know is this uh, i we don't know how low it will go it's nice to have cash it's nice to be liquid but if you want a piece of the action you can put a very very small amount but make sure you have a lot of cash to protect you and preserve you uh, for other movements that could possibly happen later on in the future so i hope you guys got a lot from this um, if this are all jargon to all of you, I'd like to invite you, all of my seminars in different countries around the world are in the description. Manila this Saturday, London this April, May uh, for Singapore, June, New Zealand, July, Sydney, and then November in Dubai. So all of the details are in the description below. But if you want to learn and you can't go to the cities, especially there's a lot of people who don't want to travel because of the coronavirus, uh, we have online courses, Chinkitan. Uh, it's called Stock Market for Everyone. Then we also have Make Money, Grow Money with Sean C. All of the details are in the description below. And for those who want to read, I have books that are available on Shopee. Uh, they're also in the description below. You can just click the link and, and we can deliver, Shopee can deliver to wherever you are in the Philippines. And there's also another link there for the books that if you want to grab a copy of those books and learn the basics of technicals, fundamentals, and trading the markets with confidence, uh, we can also deliver to any part of the world as well. So I guess that's it for now. So what I'm going to do, especially as the markets are dropping massively i'm just gonna keep you updated more and more and more i'm just gonna give you as much information as i can as possible i'm just gonna keep feeding you with the right uh, i'm gonna we're gonna go through this together we're gonna see and be updated on the markets and how this will go as well but please remember drops like this are part of the game that's why if you want to invest in the stock market you have to realize that uh things like this happen so there uh, i'm gonna do two more videos right after this uh, probably if this is coming out around 7 30 or 8 you can expect the next videos to be around 9 or 10 p.m comment below if you want those videos comment i want more videos i want more charts if you want this and please also comment uh the stocks that you guys want me to analyze so as i see them i'll try to make the videos based on uh the comments and suggestions that you have or if you have any other questions just put them in the comment section i'll try to answer them to, for, to all of you as well so that's it for now on a very very shockingly red monday i hope this video helps you trade well trade strong trade smart see you all again soon guys and god bless you all